Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today a very short video. The Quran knew this more than 1400 years ago by digital Umar. The video is not even five minutes long and with this mysterious title I have no idea what it is about. As always I'm giving you honest reactions so I'm watching this video for the very first time myself. So with no further ado, let's have a look. A pulsar is a highly magnetized, rotating neutron star that emits a beam of electromagnetic radiation. The first yeah. pulsar was observed on November the 28th, 1967, with the help of telescopes. The name pulsar is derived from pulsating star. The definition of pulsate is, produce a regular, reoccurring throbbing sound. The word originates from the Latin word, player, which means to beat. They chose this name because, scientists were able to record sounds of this star, using high-end technology of the 20th century. It's truly pulsing just like a heart. The most astounding fact is that this star was described 1400 years ago in the Quran, in the 86th chapter of the Holy Quran. Allah describes a star named Tariq. Allah calls this star Tariq and calls it the star of piercing brightness. Now if we look at the pictures of the pulsar, we can clearly see a piercing light through the star. But there is more, Allah also called the star Tariq, which in Arabic means the beta or striker. Okay, this is impressive. If it would have been only the striking light, I wouldn't be convinced. But with this name, on the other hand, it is so much more impressive. Tariq is derived from the Arabic verb Taraka which means to strike or to beat. It also refers okay. to someone who comes in the middle of the night and knocks on the door. You heard how to pulsar sounded in the beginning of the video, yes. which scientists were able to hear using high-end technology of the 21st century. You can clearly hear the sound, which sounds like someone is striking or knocking on something. How could the Quran know this 14 centuries ago when there was no high-end technology? There is no doubt left, the Quran is a book from God, and Muhammad was his messenger. He gave us this book, to use our intellect, and then come to the conclusion, that he, is our creator. He doesn't have to reveal himself, to make us believe in him. We were given superior brains and intellect above animals, so that we could use this intellect, and come to the conclusion that he is, our creator. The Quran says that everything worships Allah, so therefore the example with the animals is besides the point in my opinion, because animals do worship their creator as well in a different way. They of course cannot use their intellect, but I don't think that because they have lesser brain power, they are lesser connected. So which is it, of the favors of your Lord, that you deny?
All right, guys, and the video ends here. Short one, as I said, the most impressive part to me was the name Tariq that actually refers to beating. And as we heard, yes, that star is pulsing and therefore gives out a beating sound. But what I want to say here, the passage, do they then wait for anything except that the angels should come to them? This, of course, refers to atheists, disbelievers. I absolutely love this verse because ultimately what kind of sign do you need look around everything is a sign of God if you are a believer but for the atheist no sign is good enough if angels would reveal themselves to the atheist the atheist would say maybe this is an alien if God himself would come down which is of course impossible because it would break this matrix he transcends everything within creation so it's an impossibility but hey even if God himself would have revealed himself to an atheist, the atheist would still say, this must be some sort of super intelligence. This cannot be God. Those people have no eyes to see and therefore this passage is so extremely powerful. To me, yet again, those passages of the Quran are so much more powerful than anything else explained in YouTube videos. Man, every time I read the passages of the Quran, I have to admit, I am marveling at it. So now those facts that are added here, sure this is impressive, sure this is interesting, but I have to say that only reading the Quran by itself is all you need and is impressive enough by itself. All right, guys, but this is it for today's short video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support me via Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. Thank you so much to my Patreons as well. All right, but this is it. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.